Welcome to one of Ohio's and Lake Erie's greatest gems. These are the Lake Erie Islands. There are 31 islands in total, 13 in Canada and 18 in the U.S. In today's episode, we'll be exploring Put-In Bay, one of Lake Erie's most popular islands. Today's journey starts from the mainland, over in Catawba Bay. We'll have to take the Miller Ferry over to the island of Put-In Bay. Due to recent heavy rainfall, Lake Erie had been experiencing high tide. That, combined with the windy conditions of the day because some storms had been moving through the area, resulted in the Miller Ferry docks being slightly submerged underwater. The Miller Ferry Line has five ferries in its fleet. The MV Mary Ann Market, MV Put-In Bay, the MV Put-In Bay Extension, the MV William Market, the MV South Bass, and the MV Islander. These ferries take vehicles and up to 600 passengers between the two most popular islands, Put-In Bay and Middle Bass Island. This was my very first time ever visiting Put-In Bay, and it was quite shocking seeing all the passengers disembarking the ferry having to walk through all this water like that. But soon I would board the ferry and I would be on my way to Put-In Bay. The journey to Put-In Bay was definitely not smooth sailing. I'm sure if you had to ask the captain, he would have been like, "Off, this is nothing. I've been through much worse. But it definitely wasn't a smooth journey, and you can tell from the footage that you're about to see. Finally arriving at the docks over in Put-In Bay, the skies would begin to clear and the waters would calm. And of course, disembarking the ferry over in Put-In Bay, we'd have to encounter the same flooded waters at the docks. <laughs> The first thing you'll see when arriving in Putin Bay is Taco Bay, a quaint little restaurant with a huge outdoor dining area on a deck overlooking Lake Erie. I didn't stop to eat here because I wanted to see what other things the island had to offer. The big attraction when visiting Putin Bay is to rent a golf cart for the day and use that as transportation around the island, so that's exactly what I did. This is the island's only airport. Put in Bay Airport, and they offer biplane rides as well as helicopter rides for scenic views of the area. After passing by the airport, I came upon a place called Margaritas on the Rocks. This place was awesome. It had live local music, great food, great drinks, and just an overall great atmosphere. It really didn't feel like I was in Ohio anymore. It felt more like I had been transported to a tropical island. <laughs> I asked one of the locals if this was normal, and they said, yeah, the island floods like this from time to time, and I was just kind of like, whoa, that sounds awful. This place looked really intriguing, and I hope one day I can return and try it out. But now we're going to head over to the island's most popular attraction. This is the Perry's Victory and International Peace Memorial. It was established to honor those who fought in the Battle of Lake Erie during the War of 1812 and to celebrate the long-lasting peace among Great Britain, Canada, and the U.S. The memorial 
a Doric column rising 352 feet over Lake Erie, is situated five miles from the longest uninterrupted border in the world. This monument is owned and operated by the U.S. National Park Services. The coolest part about this monument is that you can tour it and actually go all the way to the top for some amazing panoramic views. Just mind, there are a lot of staircases, and I mean a lot, but the tile work inside is super cool. I want to say this is subway tile. I don't know. It's very like 1930s style, and I love it. It was so cool. After visiting the memorial, I figured I'd head down to the main part of town and check that out. I mean, if you just filmed, I mean, we're going slow enough. Oh, Mojito Bay. The last place we'll visit on today's island adventure is the South Bass Island Lighthouse. Now I'm not quite sure why they called it the South Bass Island Lighthouse even though it's on the island of Put-in Bay. I don't know, I guess maybe because that's one of the larger islands nearby. Anyways, this lighthouse was constructed in 1895 and stands at a height of 60 feet. It has a two-story house with a square tower at the corner. I always love visiting a good lighthouse, and this one definitely ticks that box. I've seen many, if not most, of all the lighthouses in the Great Lakes region. Hopefully someday in the near future, I'll be able to return to this amazing island and document more of its awesome scenery and all the different things that there are to do on the island. And who knows, maybe the lighthouse will be open for tours? I don't know, that'd be pretty cool to get to tour this lighthouse. Well, our day here at Putin Bay has come to an end. It's time to once again board the Miller Ferry and head back to the mainland. I want to thank everyone for coming along as we took a look at Putin Bay in Lake Erie. I do content just like this each and every week. If you liked this video, then why not give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on. That way you won't miss any future upcoming videos on any of the Lake Erie Islands, as well as many of my other amazing videos. Until the next video, this has been your tour guide, Chris, and I will see you all in the next video.